This process of having a chat started for me about 25 years ago. And I knew very quickly that people didn't necessarily use words like interviews or a formal process. They basically wanted to get to know you and what you're all about. And I also realized very quickly, if I wanted to get paid or to get a job or to make the connection or the collaboration work, I had to be really good at having a chat. And this wasn't something that I just knew how to do. And I have learned over time how to make that time that we have together work for me and also work for them. And so we both leave that meeting feeling like we've got what we need and we can go on our merry way. So there isn't one way to do it. And it's not linear which is really, really annoying because sometimes for a creative person, I have a very logical brain. And I also watched a lot of 90s game shows and I just wanted to unlock the next door. And sometimes things don't work in the way that you expect them to. So the only thing that you can do in that situation is to control you. It is to spend some time figuring out how you can show up in the best possible way, how you can be who you want to be. You can really show what you can do, but not do it in a way that you feel like you have to be a caricature version of yourself or of anybody else, but show up, have a lovely time and secure the job, the opportunity, the pitch, whatever it might be at the end of it. If you are looking to open some fresh doors that you have on your vision board or your goal list, this is going to be a really great one for you because it's going to encourage you to look at yourself in a different way, which is well, when we are growing, because we really need to have that self-analysis, really figure out what's going on and how we can be our best self. I hope you really enjoy it. I would love to know what you think, what came up for you. As always, you can share with me. Hello at NikkiRaby.com. But being, I will see you on the inside.